Welcome back to Web Development from Scratch. We are now on episode 13, and we're going to focus on duplication. So I'm going to teach you how to find something on the web and build it yourself. We'll use NetTouch as an example. Let's take a look at this post here, what we have. How can we duplicate this? We have an image, we have headings, we have uh, metadata, we have paragraphs. We're going to build this, this little fragment from scratch. Let's get started. I'm going to open up Espresso and we have a blank slate. So as we always do, let's begin with some nice clean markup. Now, of course, we're not gonna build this entire page. We're only building the fragment that you see right here. The way you approach this is the way you will approach every project. You figure out what the content is and then you translate that content into markup. First, we have a featured image. So let's get that one out of the way because generally you work left from right. As you'll learn when styling with CSS, it becomes much easier to maintain if you follow left to right. So we need to use this image. We have two options. One, we could hot link to it by choosing copy image URL, but this is a very bad practice and you never want to do it in real world projects. It's not fair because then the server where this image is hosted is handling all the bandwidth fees for your website and that is not fair. So instead I'm going to save the image and I'm only doing that because I have permission to use this image. If you're saving some photo or anything like that, make sure that you have the proper license or privileges to use it. This will be saved within our NetTouch folder and I'll create a new folder within it called images and we'll keep it named as 200 by 200. So let's add that right now. First, it makes sense to have a wrapper for each one of these. There's one wrapper, and then we'll duplicate that wrapper because it's essentially the exact same styling. Div class. Notice I'm giving it a class because this styling will be applied to multiple elements rather than targeting one specific wrapper. And we'll call this content wrap. Next, we're going to add that image. It's stored within the images folder, and the name of it was 200 by 200.png. Next, we need to provide alternate text. This happens to be a tutorial about Drupal, so we'll call it Drupal module. So let's preview that and see what we have so far. And now, as we'd expect, we have a single image, but that's okay. Now let's go to the next step. And here we have tutorial, and we're not gonna duplicate the writing because that's dynamically generated, but we will get this information. So this is meta information, but it also is sort of the header. We have a header where we have meta information, then the name, then the date, and then we have the body of this. So if we want, it's perfectly acceptable to wrap that information within a header. Remember, with HTML5, we can have multiple header elements and multiple footer elements. So let's begin with tutorials, CMS. Now I'm going to store this within a list because it's a list of links. First one is the category. Again, that is generated dynamically with the platform that NetTouch is built on, WordPress, but we will hard code it in for now. So I'm going to make the links empty. The next one is CMS, and we'll leave off the writing for now since that, again, is dynamically generated. So what comes after this? Well, first, I need to be able to style that uniquely because this is going to be within the header along with this metadata. So why don't we give it a class of cat meta for category metadata? Now remember, only use IDs and classes when you must. If you can target these elements without doing an ID or a class, and you'll learn how to do that more when you refine your CSS skills, many times you can get rid of these attributes entirely. Let's continue on. Now we have the heading, so let's add that right now. And we're going to use an H2. Generally, you want to save the H1 for the main heading on the page, although that's begun to change with HTML5, but to play it safe, we'll put it within an H2 tag. Create a Facebook recent activity module. Now, we have to be smart here. We have an H2 tag, and if I preview it, that looks good, but this is a clickable link. So although we have text here, we need to make it into a link. And as we learned, we create links by using the A tag. And again, we'll make it linked to nowhere for the time being. Next, let's work on this additional metadata that has the author, the date it was posted, and the number of comments. Notice that this is a link. This is not a link, but the author is a link. So I'm going to move this to the side so that we can see more easily, and we'll continue on. We'll put this within a paragraph tag, and I'm going to give it a class of meta. 
we'll write the author name, Gabrielle Sertia, on June 27th, 2011, with one comment. Now, let's make sure that we wrap these in links because they are clickable. So I'll do that one right now. Next, one comment is clickable as well, so we need to make sure that links somewhere. Finally, I'll close out the paragraph tag. Now let's see what we have. I'll click Preview, and now we have all of the links. Notice that the styling is not right, but that's how it should be. We're focusing on content right now. Now we have a couple options here. One, we can create a wrapper for this, so if we need to wrap that within a div, that's helpful if you have multiple paragraphs or you need to position it. In this case, I think we'll play it safe and use a simple paragraph tag. And the last step will be the continue link. So just for fun, it's always important to view the source code of websites you like. That way you get to see how they're built. So I'm going to control or right click and choose inspect element in Chrome. I will expand this out. And now you can see here he has a paragraph tag with a class of more link wrap, and then he has a link to it. P class, and we'll give it a class of more link, and that will say continue. But remember, it's an anchor tag, so we'll wrap that first, like so. Now if I click preview, we have all of the content necessary. So now we get to work on the styling. 